How's it going? Welcome back to more Paper Mario. Thousand Year Door Badge Point Only Run. Last time there were boobs. And this time, there's a distinct lack of boobs. No, there will always be boobs. There is flurry, therefore there will be boob. It's just how it works. That buzzy beetle was definitely standing in air, but it's fine. Let's do a little bit of peeping here. Some steeple peeping. That's a spike top. The lizard beetle with a spike on its back. Max page 5, attack 3, defense is 4. Firing explosions have no effect, but you can flip it over to drop its defense to 0. Like this. best to avoid fights in this little area with all these guys because I have a feeling we'll be doing a lot of quick hammer and or uh, whatever the other one's called. Yeah, tornado jump executes superbly to damage all midair enemies. Toilet paper. And I think there's a star piece hidden, like, behind part of the wall. Yeah, there it is. Did... Alright, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see Goombella, like, floating in midair or anything like that. We're just gonna pretend the game's not glitching and that everything's fine. This is being played on actual hardware, for anybody that didn't know. This is a, a an actual GameCube copy. It's not emulated. I smash, which I don't really think will come too much in handy in this. And you get a cookbook. Fabulous. If you've played your Paper Mario before, you know what that does. Truthfully, I don't remember what order we're supposed to do everything in. I know where we're ultimately supposed to end up, but we'll we'll kind of play it by ear and figure out where to go. Flower saver. That might be nice to have. If you're not doing a high BP build, usually that's not too terribly good, but... Hello? Friends! Look at all the friends! Hello. Okay, it's quiz time, Interloper. Just now, when the box opened, how many of his booze came out? Total! 200. Good, very good. Take this, math nerd. That was more just like the ability to make a halfway decent guess, but sure. It's locked from the inside. Much like the heart of every single 90s rapper. Hello. Are you gonna be mean to me? Of course not. I love you. 
Promise. Come on out, guys. They're so cute. Look at them all. Y'all have fun. I'm not gonna beat up the big old ghost. Don't be mean to your ghosty friends. Ghosts are always our friends. Okay, good. It, it did stay alive long enough for me to be able to actually paddle it. That's a swooper. I bet they call that way because the way they swoop around. Wow, that's some awesome naming work. Seriously, it's pure naming genius. So anyway, max speed tickets. Attack is three. Defense is zero. So here it hangs from the ceiling. No foe to hammer. It's true. There is no foe to hammer. First strike. That's enough to just do the men right there. Can somebody else reach, like, Flurry potentially? Yeah, she can. We found a use for Flurry! Hooray! Play camera is not the uh, the tool for you, then I guess it's flurry. supposed to go to the top area, but we're going to move it to the bottom first in case there's something there that I would like. And if it is where I'm supposed to put it, then I'll move it to the top. I just know going to the middle is useless, as you can see right there. Hello, friends. <laughs> that one made a face. Nice. I don't want to kill the ghosts. I want the ghosts to be happy. At least Mario is not spinning back and forth wondering what the heck's going on. remember correctly. Well, yes, there, there are swoops here. But also... You got a golden leaf! A weird leaf found in creepy steeple or plunged as 10 FP. one of those, because I know A, they're used for cooking recipes, and I think B, you need it for something else, too. Which is why I'm actually gonna use this, too. I'm gonna grab a couple of these.
And it's a ghost! Rubella, tell us about our friends. That's a boo, it's everyone's favorite ghost. See, I told you, it's everyone's favorite. Well, almost everyone. Yeah, well, Luigi's got confused. Max speed is 7, and the attack is 3, defense is 0. It's nothing right home about on the attack side, but it can turn invisible. If it turns invisible, we won't be able to hit it, so beat it up while you can see it. Boos are kind of cute, but I'm sure we'd want to meet one in a dark alley. Well, why not? If I ran into one in the middle, into the bat, eh. If I ran into one in the bathroom in the middle of the night, I'd... Well, never mind what I do. You'd use the bathroom. I mean, you'd, you'd ask him to look the other way, of course. But ghosts are polite, so they wouldn't, you know... They wouldn't do that, keeping on you. In terms of the world map, Creepy Steeple takes a, a bit of going out of the way relative to other areas, so... It just made sense to grab a few of those now. Goodbye, ghosts. pretty the colors are in this. All the blues and purples and greens. Hey, hang on there, Slick. Hello. What are you doing interrupting my me time? This is the monster the mayor was talking about? You gotta be kidding me. Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking up new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost. Of course you guys won't. No way you ninnies will go away quietly, am I right? Nope. Fine, yes, I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Why'd you do something like that? Because LOL lit funny. It's like irony or something. It, it sure is. Let's kick his butt, even though it doesn't have a butt because it's just a sheet. Kick the sheet out of him. Wow, how totally bizarre. This thing isn't listening in here. There's a monster in here that looks like this thing, but it doesn't list the name. Max's PS40 attacks four defenses zero. Apparently, it's really good at transforming itself and other things. The thing is real jerk. Then let's get him. Needless to say, he's not too tough. Time to regroup here, so you think you're a couple of heavies, huh? I'd, I'd make a TF2 joke, but I've never played it, and I'm not going to be starting anytime soon. You thought changing floats into pigs is impressive? Then you're going to love this! Are you going to change into a pig? Nope, you changed into me. Now you're fighting yourself, I'm a dang genius. You sure are. We're very proud. I can't help but feel the same satisfaction that a parent would. Name that cartoon. Hold on, what, what, huh? You beat me? Well then I should probably faint. Like this. Yes, excellent. 
What a time to get the experience doubler. Like the curse increased your star points to 42. Which is in fact enough for a level. Also, the answer was Yu-Gi-Oh. It's from Yu-Gi-Oh when Hexus is talking about his two monsters. Thank. You got a crystal star! That was pathetically easy! End of chapter. Man, don't I feel dumb for ending the video last time, when the chapter was almost over. Or, is it actually over? Wait, are you kidding me? What a total pushover. Oh, well, we got the Crystal Star, so let's get out of here. Whee! Of course, as you'll notice, we have not moved to a Peach segment, and if we hit the A button... Surprise! The joke's on him, now I've got a shower. Which just has a standing layer of solid... Ooh. It does give us... Okay, good. It does give us full health, even though we, uh... Air quote got beat. We did also A win a boss fight and B level up. And since we did. Let's have a look here. I could take off something for Flower Saver, like a, a one point badge. I think I'll do that. I think I'll take off Power Smash for the time being and replace it with Flower Saver. I haven't been using Power Smash that much recently, so. Goodbye, Mr. Ghost Friends. Yes, this time we'll take that Mario and get his map! Yeah, see that other guy? He didn't he didn't realize that we have now gotten a, a fair few enemies. So now he's gonna have to deal with them. I never had it, you were holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust me with. Why don't you go look for it while Marilyn and I go take a well-earned siesta? Yep, have fun sleeping in the floor, I guess. Yeah, as you probably noticed on the, uh, the subscreen for the menu, no party members. We still have our gear and our, our badges, thankfully. But everybody else, they're stuck with that creepo. Which can make it a little bit rougher to get out of here because you have no party members, though. So bear that in mind. It is just you. Which also means that unless you have the peekaboo badge, uh, if you run into any enemies that you have not tattled, then uh, you're going to be having to make an educated guess on how much health they have. I guess theoretically you should also technically not have the crystal stars, but no, you do have those abilities if you need them in a pinch or a peach.
That looks nasty enough to not attempt. If I had my partner, sure, but because I don't, I'm gonna be obviously a little bit more careful than I would normally. Again, oop, no, I don't want that. What? Dude, I'm getting away from this fight. You can't stop me. coins back from that. Hey, what's up? Slake, like been waiting for you. That's not creepy at all, but I mean, I guess you did live at Creepy Steeple. Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name. Uh, it's Gonzalez, actually. You're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being you. Yeah, it's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. Yeah, uh, you'll be getting all the attention, the good and the bad, so enjoy that. I've got the power to change my ship and anyone I want, it comes in handy. But to be, to really be someone, I need to take their name and body too, which means you can't, which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. Maybe I'm sporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you can guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. Well, as you'll very quickly see, there is no lowercase p here, so uh, being able to answer his question is not going to really work. Ragamundo, little nobody, who'd name their kid that? Prepare for doom, slick. And they give you the obvious thing of, oh, well, you better not run. That's a good idea. You're right, I better not run. Especially not right now. Aw, that's no fun. Interesting that your party members aren't, uh, aren't there. What's going on here? Okay, this is awkward. I guess that pig wasn't my husband at all. This guy is younger than cuter than my husband, actually. What a strapping fellow. Perhaps it's time I trade in for new husband. Dude! Alright, let's store some of the stuff that I'm not gonna need. I think I will... the rest of that. I know a honey surf would be just as well, but... What do I have in here? Oh, just what I stored. Okay. Yeah, that's right, because I wasn't sure if it would actually let me back in there. Okay. Oh, interesting. I always forget that's even an item in the game, because I never end up using it. There's the Traveling Toad Sisters from the first game. There you go. 
Enjoy your grenade. Oh, thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I don't get punished now. Oh no, it, it's broken. It looks fine to me, but okay. Must have broken when my sister dropped it. Well, I do. What do I do? I guess I was just meant to be punished for life. Hey, don't feel bad. Thanks. You're very sweet. That actually makes me feel a little better. But what do I do now? My sister's will be back any minute now. Well, don't worry. The bomb disappeared because it was on the ground too long. Wait a second. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? I don't have one. I said I don't have one. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? That's absolutely crazy. Yeah. You can just call me, oh yeah, in the meantime. Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do. And you're worried about me the whole time. That's so kind. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna help you and get back your name and your body. And your friends. Oh no. Hey, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. That is fair. Vivian has joined your party. I think it's fair to say this is probably most people's favorite party member, both for personality and combat utility. Press X to have Vivian pull Mario into the shadows where they can hide. Think out of sight from the first game with Bo. Where ghosts can't find you. Bye, Mr. Ghost. When hiding in the shadows, press X to emerge. In a battle, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her shade fist or hide Mario with her veil move. We need to find out that ghost's real name first, huh? That'll be a start. Now, where are we going to get that kind of information? Birds pretend to be innocent with people around, but they're actually really well informed from all flying and eavesdropping, and from dropping poop on the other people. With my power, you can listen in on their conversations without them knowing. So, in addition to villagers, let's try to get some info from the birds. Well, I already actually know the answer to what his name is. And even once you do find out, we'll, we'll keep it a secret for anybody that doesn't know. But even once you find out, as you saw in that list, there was no lowercase p, and obviously his name has a lowercase p, therefore it would be impossible to do anything. Hi again. So, this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm, it looks sort of familiar to me. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Maybe it'll work this time. If Nimrod doesn't work, we'll try an alternate version of it. Ah, so close. So close. And away we go. Unless they're hiding there in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Yeah, he already did that once. Don't worry about it. Alright, now with the party member, we can actually start attacking stuff again. Press the button that appears on screen. Pretty sure it's only ever B, A, or X, for the record. that first strike we can pretty much effectively stop them from doing anything. So 
apparently it can be something other than the air. It's my bad. Alright, well, that's good to know. The upside is it appears the only thing that it prevent or that it doesn't give you is is a shooting star. I'll take that, absolutely. Hell yeah. The only thing that it stops is the fire effect of them taking additional damage. But since we don't need that for these fights, that's actually not that big a deal. I would have liked that badge, but honestly, I think I would have rather had the shooting star, so that worked out. That worked out very nicely. Do it. Nice. For anybody wondering, like, oh, why would you just use Earth Tremor? Because that does damage as opposed to just timing him out. I just have more confidence that I can do clock out as opposed to Earth Tremor when it comes to doing it correctly. It's just way easier for me to button mash than it is to time those. Vivian's timing. I actually don't know what it is at all. I know what it is for her uh, upgraded ability. But since, if you remember, in order to get into this, uh, this chapter, you have to have something with your name written on it, because your name's stolen, you can't leave the chapter, so you cannot leave to upgrade her at all right now. It's a bit of a shame, because I think, yeah, we do have enough Shine Sprites to do that. We just can't get back there. Yeah, go ahead, charge. See if I care. The upside is, if you do get into a fight that you actually do want to completely finish the fight for... I definitely hit Y before I hit X, but okay. Oh, thank you for the extra star points. <laughs> and that's why you should be honest, it will get you more things. But yeah, if you do want to finish the fight and you're afraid that they're going to kill you with a charge attack, you can use Veil to get away from it. Also, how did I miss that? Jeez. Of course, I was trying to get through this area quickly since we were ending stream last time, so maybe I did see it and just decided to not go for it. actually get pretty good experience, all things considered. If we fight enough stuff, we might actually be able to get back to... Uh, I hit the stupid box. I was trying to do the other jump type. Well, there's 
the cleft's dead. Provided the fog doesn't block this, which it did. You did it, Mario. You attacked the air. We're very proud of you. There we go. But yeah, if we destroy everything, we might have enough uh, to get to another level. Really, I should be doing it regardless for the coins, though. I don't remember if it's after this chapter or the next. I want to say it's the next that you can get the... Uh, the refund for giving the guy multiples of a hundred coins. I'm gonna pass on finding the cleft. I think you actually can open that from the other side. For the, like, five seconds that it saves you. Oh wait, this isn't where I want to go yet. I want to go is back down here. I kind of like that they actually did make you wait at least a little bit before having to use her ability outside of battle. That's a really nice touch. Paper away! That's where we need to go. Is there anything over here? Surprisingly, no, there's not. Just these really cool fire effects. They look kind of like the green torches from uh, Terraria, a little bit. And Mr. Softener, I will probably sell that and never use it. And a power plus. You got the letter P! What? The letter needed to get Mario's name and body back. And lastly, we've got a steeple key. A key that opens a door to some room. What happened to those weirdos who were just here? Ah, whatever. It was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one knows his real name, lock me up here just because I know it. And make me guard the stupid missing letter. No way to treat a parrot. I really want a cracker. Cracker. Duplus, you're a big meanie. When's feeding time, huh? Hello. Skirt. What? Uh, pretty bird, pretty bird. Nice try, sucker. Yep, Duplus is the name. Being a dickhead is his game. While it would be interesting to, like, very clearly sequence break if you did know his name from either looking it up or having played the game previously, ultimately it probably is the best decision that they don't let you do that. Almost makes you wonder if, like, they gave you the full alphabet the first time and then somebody was just like, yeah, but what if they already knew the answer and then they had to figure out how to work around that. Trying to jump away from him, but nope. Now, you get pain! Sorry, I'm, I'm debating my head, yeah. Yeah. It was enough experience to probably justify doing that. Plus, I think it was a 
full items at that point. No, it was a nine, but still. Hello. Ah. Thank you. I actually didn't see what it was there for a second. Oh, it works on all of them. Okay. Well, let's give it a go. No. <laughs> Apparently it only worked on the cleft that time. Defense has dropped. Let's have some fun. Mystery! Well, that's not horrible. Electrified enemies that make contact can get hurt. And now we're sleepy, which means we're probably dead. Well, that'll get Mario to wake up. And then he'll fall back asleep, because the other guy will put him back to sleep. Tried to be blocked it because that was my only hope. So for anybody wondering, well, why wouldn't you fight those gr that group of enemies? There's your answer. That's why. Oh, weird! I saved it exactly eight hours of gameplay, huh? Let's just get what we need and get out of here. This time we don't need to talk to the bird. We can, we can just we can just continue on our merry little adventure. You can come with us, birdie. You're free. Well, he's just going to hang out there forever. I might actually end up hanging on to my items rather than attacking the uh, that first set of enemies this time. Because now I'm thinking maybe we won't be able to get enough experience for a level just yet. Maybe if it's not a uh, high defense enemy on the field sprite, we'll, we'll go for it. Getting that first strike correct would have also helped in this fight. Right, you better run. This definitely isn't as high of a uh, coin collecting chapter as the previous one. Oh, hey! I wonder if we can clock him out. Daisy Daisy. Oh, did they change the spelling from the first game? I thought it was like uh, the Z E E, not Z Y. Oh well, it's not important. Let's give it a go. The 
It did work. Yeah, they did freeze him. Nice. Definitely need to focus him, obviously. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that was just the fire getting removed. Okay. So I can clock him out again, which is what I'm ultimately going to do. It only froze the amazing one, but that would of the two, that was definitely the one I wanted to freeze. I'm just gonna eliminate this guy. star points and a level. I didn't think you'd get quite so much experience, but I am not complaining. I was expected about 30, honestly. But that also gives me an option to put on first and foremost the power smash again. I'll throw on a couple of the status ones and just see what we can do with those. He was gonna run away, but nope, I guess not. I was prepared for that why this time. on the Hyper Goombas this time. Instead, it's this turn again, trying to boost to do. Hit me one more time. Alright. say it can't be no 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 yes 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 why how I'm feeling faint now it's our turn let's get your name and body back where we go to hide where he was before which is probably the one downside to this chapter that like understandably a lot of people don't like is the fact of like you get to Twilight Town and then you go to Creepy Steeple and then you go back to Twilight Town and then you go back to Creepy Steeple and then you go back to Twilight Town and then you go back to Creepy Steeple it's just literally back and forth between the two locations the twist is cool 
the party member you get is cool, but I think people would have preferred to not have to keep going back and forth in this section. Because they find it a bit annoying and like, it doesn't bother me that much, but can I see why it would bother people? Yeah, absolutely. I totally get why it would bother people. And I fought this fight is to see if he would drop that power punch. I guess a little bit for the coins, sure. Gotta be picking up that dough. Oh, hey! It's you again! I want to say it's got 20 health, but I could be wrong about that. to freeze at that time. If you can't, like, freeze it or somehow otherwise kill it one turn, it probably is for the best. I'm gonna see if he actually stays and... Is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. And run away from the fight because he'll do... If he decides not to run away, he'll do hellacious damage. We're talking, like, 20 damage. And you really don't want to get hit by that. It is impressive how satisfying they can make the running away feel whenever you get the bar, like, fully, uh, fully maxed out. Because it's like, yeah, you can make that okay symbol stop wherever you want. Like, it doesn't matter now. Yeah, I'll stick with Quake Hammer. And now I'm frozen. Perfect. If we could not do that again, that would be awesome. Yeah, I think I am gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna appeal to get my star power back, and then whenever he flips over, I'll appeal one more time with Vivian. Try to get as much of it back as I can. There we go. That'll be at least enough for one. Numa. Yeah, even though it doesn't bother me, I can safely say I'm glad this is the last trip we'll be making back here. <laughs> Provided that I don't need any more gold leaves, which is possible, but... I guess I technically could grab one more. And you know what? I think I will. I think I'll grab one more. We've got to go back that direction regardless, so... Well, 
Well, I was going to show off that like with Flurry Vivian can reach the enemies on the ceiling, but I guess that won't be happening. Not in that fight, anyway. Come on. A ghosty! Hello, my little ghost friend. Drop the HP drain, simultaneously attack your foes and replenishes your own HP. I'll probably drop that, Mr. Softener, because Duplus has no defense, so we've no need of him. I'm always like 50-50 in RPGs on, on buff killers. Some games like Mother 3, absolutely phenomenal. Others, like, it's kind of just, you could use it if you want, but eh. It's kind of a, eh, yeah, I'd say it's probably not en like super entry level RPG, but pretty close to entry level RPG, so. If you don't want to use defense killers, then you're you're probably okay. About the worst you'll have to deal with is like clefts. And even then you could just use a power smash, which is a defense killer, yeah, but it's also just used as a regular attack, so it's not quite as quote unquote debilitating for people that don't want to use those types of things. We are good on everything. Let's go kick the sheet out of him once more, even though he's not wearing a sheet. At least we get to beat up Mario, though, because, like, really everybody wants to do that. Fine, fine. I see. I get it. Let's just put an end to this, shall we? All right, kids, put on your fighting gloves. Uh, woohoo! It's a me! Sure thing, Mario. Kurt couldn't take take us on his own, so he teamed up with the Shadow Siren. We certainly won't let him be doing anything to our little Mario. You're gonna taste the pain, Gonzalez style, Shadow Guy. Well, at least I can give the Yoshi some credit, because, you know, like, he's still a baby. And Koops isn't the brightest tool in the crayon box, but I would have expected Goobella to realize. But, oh well. Hey, it's your Mario? Yeah, actually. I can't believe that all this time I sound like Mario. I feel like an idiot fight with your girlfriend yeah I am now get out of here let's get him see your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me Super Mario oh your first name is super see I didn't know that that's very important information uh, I wonder if you can make him sleepy I'm gonna stick with shrink stop though Tiny attack power is now dropped. <laughs> Ow. You turd. Mario, don't let your guard down, okay? Well, she's doing more damage than he is. I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Yeah. I've made my choice. I'm not turning back. Then let's get him. You tried to do this to the great Super Mario, how dare you? <laughs> Whoa. 
what a loser. Uh, what do I want to do here? I could use the gold beef, but I kind of don't want to. There's attack. Also, I'm doing well, Yin Yang. How are you doing? You'll be watching Duplos get his butt kicked. We'll give him one last chance. I've almost had it, Super Mario sort of thing. Well, you'll be fine. <laughs> the first two turns he attacked, he was tiny, so he didn't do enough. Oh, nice, the fire killed him. <laughs> He was tiny, so he couldn't do enough damage to actually, like, do anything to me. And then the last two turns, he missed because of the lucky badges. So the only damage I took was from Goombella. He literally did nothing to me. Huh? I'm a back. Oh, wait, that's Luigi. Never mind. It's fine. Get out of here, sheet head. You kill joys. He ran away. I mean, what the heck was going on here? That wasn't the real Mario? No. Did we get shell winked? What? How could I ever mistake my dear Mario for another? Oh, silly furry. So who's the girl, huh? Isn't she one of the shadow side? Nah, she's cool. Mario, step in and do something. I don't know. You can't speak, so. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through. Okay, so no sweat, right? Exactly. I'd be happy to travel with you, Pammy. Uh, yeah, obviously. Vivian has really joined your party now. This is for you. Yay. Playing a Harry Potter book. Nice. You got a crystal star. Your star power is now five. Mario has learned the special move, Art Attack. Actual end of chi after. Please tell me the Yoshi's name Sonic. No, we went with Crest, like the toothpaste, which is also blue and white. Mario defeated the rogue, who's stolen his name and appearance. Mario has four crystal stars, that leaves the mere three more to find, and that means his crest to collect all the crystal stars is more than half over. He heads off towards his next adventure with his new friend Vivian. But what a Beldum in Maryland, and what became of the doppelganger of Duplass? Who cares? Who cares what happened to Duplass? Also Slytherin, I'm in Slytherin. Baby, it's so very late. Where's that scatterbrain been all this time? Kind of hinting that whenever she was saying, like, I'm sorry, but Mara is the only person that's been nice to me, was not actually saying it to Vivian, just kind of to herself. Port over all our research of the Thousand Year Door, and it appears the ceiling power has definitely been weakening, as Beldum said. Got it, sir. I love their little salute. It's so good. So, you know, I'll have the power that was slept for millennium so very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror. Mwahahaha and all that. Oh, sorry, gak 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 gak. That too. Stars. The end. You stead. Si, sí, comprendo español. I do speak a little bit of Spanish. I can understand it better than I can speak it, though. I am conflicted. Still horny for princess, but must do right thing. Wesley. I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do, really. No, never mind. Please forget my musings. I do not why. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Beep boop. Let's have a quiz. Wesley. Alright. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Thousand Year Door. 
the thousand year door opens. What is the leader of Grotus leader the or the goal of Grotus leader of the Exiles? To become a superhero. No, to conquer the world. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? Yeah, this is how he uh <laughs> A hundred million coins. No, a thousand year old demon soul. What does Sir Gertis wish to do with this ancient demon soul? Hang out with it. Cherish it all. He'll cherish it always. Bring the demon back to life. Now the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? The crystal stars. That's the only one that, like, you might get wrong, because a magic spell would also actually, like, kind of fit. Did you come to Texas? Well, the good news is I already live in Texas, so I wouldn't be that far away. The computer likes Peach's BP. Yep. She likes... He likes Peach's Peach is the problem. I just love how dumb that plot is, though. Like, computer watches Peach take a shower, gets horny, and falls in love. So stupid. Good night, Princess Peach. Yeah, it, it's safe to say by this point he has basically completely turned against Grotus. If not, mostly. since he's finding workarounds to give her information. But now a bows! Speaking of gorgeous, I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Let's ride the cheap blimp there now, come on. You there, two tickets, one great and evil king and one sweet young thing. Uh, the thing part I'll agree with. Good, good, good gravy! Of a Bowser, the evil king, and a deluded old hag. I, uh, life's too short. <laughs> he just leaves. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskate. And Lord Bowser... ...is not stupid. You can both just fly there. You don't need to take the blimp. Forget that wimpy blimpy, I'll be riding this, baby. I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problemo. You go easy on your old limps and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. Ha 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 ha. Oh, her broom disappeared. It's fine. Wait, Lord Bowser, please! Oh. Now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag cami lunch will go to waste. He's so happy. And then, for some reason, unexplained, the clown car just gives out. <laughs> Ready to roll. Oh, it carries your score over. I forgot it did that. That's cool. Noom. I don't know why it just like stopped letting me hit the button. I was hitting it, nothing happened. There's a little bows.
Boing. Throw Bowser's arms. Finish! I don't know why there was a weird space between the second I and the S there on finish, but okay. <coughs> oh, that was terrible. I gotta get in shape. You are in shape, Bowser. Round is a shape. Hell, he does. Someone help. I see your broom rematerialized. There you are, Lord Bowser. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Swimming. Really neat. As for me, Glitzville was fantastic. The fights were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking with... Ew. Nobody wanted to see that. And then the hot dogs. Oh, my gracious. Yummily. You have fun, too. Hmm? Ah, that was fun. Lord Bowser, is that a no? It was terrible. You hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper. I wanted to have fun, but forget it. It's over. Go get me some solid info on Peach and the Crystal Stars now. Oh, poor Bows. I'm gonna go get my Bows plushie so he can come hang out with us. In the meantime, we'll let the game save, and I will be right back. There we go. Now he'll get to watch and enjoy. If you want to see what he looks like, uh, just look up the Build-A-Bear, Bowser. You'll find it. I can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time, so we were all fooled. Well, he didn't really show up in town, but... Did we hurt your feelings? Maybe a little. Uh, well, alright. It's okay to be in touch with your feelings. <laughs> what? All right. I don't think there's anything else we need to pick up here. It did just save, so... Back we head with new party member in tow that will thankfully be able to be upgraded. Which Vivian's actually, like, not bad as soon as you get her, but, like... The ability, the inability to upgrade her until you finish the chapter is kind of a shame. Oh, it's from Peach. Great. My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It's the spirit of a demon. Because nothing says treasure like the spirit of a demon. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door. They'll find this demon spirit, but the only thing that can keep it locked away is the stars themselves. You must not let them get the stars. You must put a stop to their horrible plans, Princess Peach. Oh. But I fell on an enemy. So, pain. Yeah. I missed. I don't know why I'm bothering to fight these enemies. BP I can get after I level up. Uh, I don't actually remember for this game, there is a limit. Uh, the original game, it's 30. Which means at this point, we would have already probably gotten past that. Yeah, 36. I want to say it's 90 or 99. Like, it's insanely high in this game by comparison to uh, the original. The original game, it was... I wouldn't say it was easy to do so, but it was definitely possible to max out at uh, all the max stats, which was 
50 HP, 50 FP, and 30 BP in that game. But I do believe that, yes, there is eventually a limit. Hello. I got the lowdown on a book that can turn anyone to a master chef. It's called the ability to combine two ingredients. Yep. Did I give her the book? Do I need to, like, leave and come back? Alright, well. Maybe I just keep it on me rather than actually physically giving it to her. Who knows? Uh... I can't afford these. Even if I wanted them, I don't want the jam and jelly and I'll pass on the stopwatch. You can also come and buy these Super Luigi books. Actually, I'm going to store my, uh, my golden leaf. And I might store something else here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I am full. All right. I'm getting rid of that. I get put the shooting star up because I have the earthquake for the time being. I feel like I don't need both of these, so I'm gonna get rid of the repel cape. It just makes more sense to have the honey syrup since that is a full FP heal. Yeah, it's true. First game, like, it is very uh, viable. Oops. Nope. I don't want to talk to that. It is very viable to just absolutely max out your, your BP. Like, literally just dump everything into BP because since you have the HP and FP, like, if you need to switch out one for the other, you kind of can do that in a way. I already have Ice Smash. I think I have both of those party badges. I have Shrink Stomp. The only one I don't have is Happy Flower, and I don't really want it. So I will pass on the badges. But what I will not be passing on is the ability to upgrade Vivian. Yeah, sorry, don't mind me. I was just busy being stupid because I couldn't turn around. Shazubi. The power of the third dimension. Ups her HP by 5 and gives her a very good attack, because if I remember right, it is... Yep. Nope, I want to actually, like, shut it off. Fire Jinx. Attack all foes with flames and set them on fire. Yep, it is 6 FP, so we cannot use it in that regard, but if I put on an FP badge, it is a multi-target. Or, I think, because I have Flower Saver, I will be able to use it. It is very, very good for that kind of thing. Also, I forgot to do this last time. Right. Let me quickly grab that. Come on, Mario. You can do it. There you go. 
Hi. What do you blokes want? I have no interest in passing the time with you. So sorry. Now away with you. Now away with you. Okay. But the door's open now. And that's the important thing. Actually, will it let me go into that door back there? Yeah. I will gladly take that. Alright, back to Thousand Year Door. I think that is about all we can do for now. I could be doing the Trouble Center, but eh. If I decide to do that, that'll be something we do like all in, in one go. I'm still debating whether I want to do that or not. I'm still debating if I want to do the Pit of a Hundred Trials or not. Time shall indeed tell. I don't think I can do this yet. I might be able to. This is the upgraded hammer, so... Well, maybe if I got close enough. No, not yet. Okay. Island chapter? Or am I getting them confused? I've gone through the beginning of this game a fair few times, but this is usually about the point is creepy steeple where I stop most casual playthroughs, so. I don't remember if the island is chapter 5 or if that's the train and the island is chapter 6. I think the island is chapter 5. Yes, it is. Quick, let's cruise up to the prof's office. Thanks for making me read that out loud. The prof. Make him sound like he's a prophet. Whoa, whoa, what? You mean these glasses aren't in style? The legendary tre treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. Those fiends want to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it? Yep. rather long so you best listen well you got it i'm listening quite well right now i'm not skipping a single line of dialogue that was my first thought too but further research suggests we can't do that there's a slight possibility that the th yeah that the thousand year door is weakening once a thousand years past the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail like those goons may want the stars now might be a coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return even if the x knots fail. It appears to be somewhere on Keelhaw Key. I'm not too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff. Vengeful spirits filled with hatred, evil curses, things like that. But I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. Okay. But one other thing we can do beforehand, provided I've got the inventory space for it, yes I do, is we have not checked the daily lottery. So let's do that real quick. And see what there is to see. My number is 3299. Today's winning number is... not even close. 
I don't think I've ever even gotten like third prize from that, but oh well. It's still a free mush. I got the lowdown on a book that could turn anyone to Master Chef. I went to the Trouble Center. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's go do that one really quick then, just so I don't have to A, keep mastering for that dialogue, and B, wonder why I'm getting it wrong. Might as well. First time here? Yep, sure. Any explanation? No. What? I actually have to listen to it? No, I refuse to listen. You can't make me. There it is. Seeking the legendary book. Why don't you go find the legendary cookbook for me? It's in a pretty scary place. So there's no way like that an old gal like me could get it alone. Please come to my house in Roeport Square for details. Yep. All right, let's try this again once more with feeling. It's really important to listen up, Mr. Klutz. Long ago, there was a great legendary chef named Maitre Delish. Rumor has it you instantly become a better chef just by reading his book. It's an old book that's hard to find. Stores don't carry it. But I've recently heard that someone who used to live in Creepy Steeple had a copy. Many secret rooms, so it's moldering. Ew. So then, want me to cook something for you? No. Did you find that cookbook? Yep. That's it. That's the book. Give it here, quick. Here. I see. I can cook with more than one ingredient. Who could have thought? Who would have known? True culinary genius, not just using one single piece of whatever. Glaze a mushroom with a honey syrup for, syrup for a brilliant honey shroom. And that's what you get as your reward. You solved the trouble. We've already got it here, might as well. It's five and five instead of six and two, but I feel like five and five is a better balance. Because the FP is usually what I'm running out of, not the HP. Very quickly, I'm going to check. And see. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, floor 50, huh? Yeah, based on what I'm seeing, we might want to wait a little bit longer. If I decided to do the pit, like, having the double items would be nice, but I wanted to see if that seemed like something doable now or if I should wait. I should probably be waiting at least one more chapter because the enemies that were on floor 49, which was the only one I checked, are stuff that would be fought during this chapter. So, probably want to finish this chapter first. And then go from there. Plus, I think this is also the chapter where we get the ability to upgrade the party members a second time, and that would help a lot. So, we'll probably go with that. I don't think you get anything as a reward for that trouble other than what she gives you, but I'm going to double check. If you do, it's probably like some minuscule like 10 coins or something. Sorry, what was that part about pay? Let's learn how they give you a reward, probably. 
Ah, okay. You have to pay to cancel. Uh, one last thing I want to check. 13 star pieces. I think I'll wait. I don't feel like there's anything I could have grabbed from her that I would have also been able to equip at this exact time, so for now it's fine. Alright, let's get into the next chapter. I think he tells you where they are. See that ship, Doctor? He, she belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He doesn't sail too often, though. He mostly he just hangs out on Podley's joint on the plaza. Could have sworn the bomb on was the one that told you that, but I guess not. Yeah, he's still out digging for oil or whatever he was looking for. Hey, Luigi. You bastard. <laughs> and what do you want? I just want to replace my face with the skull. It's fine. I must know, what do I lack? Money, maybe? Money, you say? There's nothing like a grapefruit covered in... Ah, no, not honey. What he meant was money. I don't think it matters what you say there, so really pick whatever you like. Hunt for pirate treasure. That shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money. Yeah, doesn't matter what you say. There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. As opposed to a polished arm pit you know what never mind don't worry about it it's fine you mean to steal the treasure right out from under my nose if i was gonna do that would i tell you that i had a map oh, yeah. star-shaped stone was said to be on cortez's hoard perhaps i could sell it for a stagger amount of cash Yep, I just want the star. You can keep the rest of it. I have a ship ready in no time. It will be massive and glorious. We are talking about like a pirate ship, right? Not something else. Alright, Luigi. Uh, I'll probably never see you again. Goodbye. I'm heading out for the the big blue ocean and I'm never coming back. Cue the Wind Waker music to play. I've had the urge to play that again recently and I don't know why. Oh, hey Lord Crump, how's it going? Oh, uh, pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Good to see you again, Lord Crump. Glad you're doing well. She's the SS Flavia, I'm the queen of my countless ships and my personal fleet. Yes, but what's the problem? <laughs> we have no navigator, he ran off the dog. Oi, Flavio. If you don't mind me saying, I'm a, I have a solution. A legendary sailor living in Rogueport. Admiral Bobbery, a salty old sea dog by all accounts. Said to have the helmsman touch, he can make any ship bow to his will. Aye aye, sounds fair. I'm on board. Good plan, sure thing. <laughs> Fine.
Luckily, we already know where he is, and you already saw how to get to him. Oops, too far. There we go. Hello. Oh, I think you have to go back to the uh, the bar and talk to the the dude. That took me a second to remember. I'm pretty sure that's what you got to do. And then he gives you a thing, and you give it to Bobbery, and then that's how you make him join. I'm back, Luigi. The expedition was wonderful. In fact, I'm going again in like 30 seconds. Yeah, that house just past the eastern part of town, that's his. But I think both you and he would be better off if you just let him be. What, so now I can be like, well, I know who he is? We're not doing the creepy steeple thing of going back and forth, are we? Of course, at least it's not as far of a journey here. I have the faintest idea of what you're talking about now, if you please. Drop the axe, Super Stash. We already found out your bobbery. So your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job. Sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But that's just not cool. That salty dude's going nowhere fast. Can't figure this guy out. What's his beef with the ocean anyway? The ocean left him for Mako Tsunami. That's what happened. Hi again. So he won't go to see you. Well, that can't surprise me. Are you really sure you want him back on the water? Kinda? I mean, if you know somebody else... <laughs> You'll probably end up crying. Please do, I can take it. It's fine. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of an enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two were madly in love, and the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Bobbery was an avid sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He only loved Scarlet truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus, a passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery at sea on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he had returned, Scar Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him in his sleep, haunting him always. He had never gone out to sea since. What a downer. But yeah, we have no choice. And then you find out this guy's an asshole. The letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed that he's been keeping for how long now? I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to the plague, and if I love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he might hear my voice. And you haven't done it till now. Why? Couldn't bring myself to present the letter. I mean, yeah, maybe a little bit of time, but not like years. Jeez, what a dick. Here. A letter for me? Yep. Wow, that paper is, like, I know the note was kind of, like, musty and old, but the letter is... Completely pristine. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I'm no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I've decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you'll blame yourself for it. 
Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you'll mourn, I beg that you remember that life, or that time, like love, is a tide. You're one with the sea as you're one with me. Do not lose both of your life's loves. Yeah, go let the boy cry a little bit. That's, that's fair. <laughs> Mario's just looking around, so like, no, this is a nice place you got here. go. Man, if only, like, you could consistently get that kind of story for, uh, for party members in, like, all the Paper Mario games. Like, some of them get backstory, but usually not to that degree. Of, like, oh, this is what their life like was like before and why it's changed and all this. Let's shut off. I gotta get away from Luigi. I'm glad that the store merchant is there, too. I just saw him on the back there. <laughs> and just like that, they were never seen again. This is X.1 here. Come back, dude. I repeat, X.1 here. Over. Roger, reading you five by. Infiltration is successful. X.0 Black. Avoid vessel. That's racist. Not in this case, that's just a cinema sense joke. But what's not a joke is Chapter 5. The key to pirates. So anybody know any uh, good pirate songs? Month Star, Day XO. With the protest of my crew, the SS Flaviana sets sail. This is the voyage to Reckless as they say. Yeah, we're just gonna skip the the text dump that's not important. Day double X, another day of good wind. Things are going smoothly, yet I'm filled with dread. We should reach there by tomorrow. The Stash Brothers' best of friends, three times red stash lands on his end. Blue Stash's belly four times is whacked. That is important later. I'm glad that, like, nobody really decided to, like, go below deck and sleep during the night. They're just all... The ship's stopping. Awful sorry to interrupt. Ah, stopped, you say, after interrupting a story of passion and fury. Well, it's your job to keep the ship moving, yes, so take care of it. Poke, poke. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stop a minute, you scallywags. Oi, quit shoving it. I'm working over here. I'm walking here. <laughs> Keep that fire away from me. It's dangerous to bombs. They're here. Yep, they've come for your soul. Luckily, we just saw Ghosts last chapter, so it's fine. Do not panic yourselves, this is just a dream that we are all having while awake. Yep, that's exactly how dreams work.
Forget that. Make a path. Well, there goes Bobbery and that other guy. And we're all dead. Game over. Fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that the island was our intended destination all along. We have lost three crew members, including Bobbery. Yep. We've made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's floats and washed in, and we have now salty bread and other salty things. We've built a few huts that, from the washed-up timbers. We hit Days on the Isle now, and all the huts are finished. We've carved out life here, although we all dream of a return to Roveport. Nah, let's just stay here. It's nice and pretty. Ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest in. Yay, I haven't slept in like four days. Let's have a look at our little civilized life here. Oh, they're fighting again, huh? Did you just call the great Flavio Fancy Pants? That's right, Fancy Pants. <laughs> they're here! Really? The ghosts are back. Yep, all three of them. Hello. Well, I would have put on Ice Smash, but I did not get that option, so... Bella, what can you tell us? That's an ember, sort of a pale blue flame spirit. Kind of spooky. Max HP is 8, attacks 3, defense is 0. Of course, is the flame touching will hurt? Did Mama teach you that? It's susceptible to ice or explosive attacks, though, so that's something. If you get hit by a flame attack, you'll catch fire, so try to guard well. I could use that, but that's 4. We'll just go with clock out. We'll do this bit by bit. Keep him busy. In the meantime, probably our best bet is likely going to be Coops. Take him out one by one like this. Say it's probably a fair wager that as we explore we'll find badges that are more apt for this chapter. And he got his movement back, but it is not gonna matter. Look at all that star power. I know different uh, audience members give different, like, star amounts, and the Toads are one of, if not the highest, so. Thank you for the double star points. Can do. And nothing says a uh, semblance of normalcy like having a, uh, a little store here.
So I've got nine things. I think we'll go with that. I do want to buy one of these just in case. Up. Let's continue on and figure out what we can see here. Oh, you stupid fuzzy. There we go. Have we fought one of the green ones yet? It looks like we have. Can't just ignore those. I won't rest until I've suspected, inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Head rattle executes perfectly to confuse enemies. I don't think I've ever used that particular one. Bird shell. Don't really use that one much, but sure. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with those double poison mushrooms. We can just ignore them. <laughs> ah, these guys. What? How did I not get the first strike on him? Well, he probably would have on me, but I had chill out, so that's probably what happened. What to learn about these nasty things with their purple teeth? That's a putrid piranha. It's poisonous piranha plant. My color is totally sickly. Max HP is 8, attacks 3, defends 0, bites. And it attacks with super rank poison breath. Breath mint, table 4. If you get poison, your HP will slowly go down, so, you know, try not to. Can do. Let's show off our attack. It's just drawing circles around your enemies until they die. Or until your timer runs out. Whichever. And there you go. It's a fair bit to use, but the reason I did is because I knew I was about to get a level. So... When in doubt, strategy. Oi! I didn't ask to get bit by another one. Well, now would be a good time to show off. I thought I had FP saver on, did I not? Hmm, alright. Give it a go. I actually don't remember how this one works. Yeah, I have no idea what that was supposed to be, but all right. Well, Flurry's gonna take the bulk of his damage, probably, so. I love how the audience is just, like, Luigi and a bunch of ghosts. Alright, Flurry, I think you've helped enough, so...
Oh, now that I think about it, the issue might be is that it's not a Flower Saver Partner Badge. If such a thing exists. What? Dude, you can't make enemies fall on top of my head like that. What do you think you're doing? I mean, even if he had got me, I have no FP, so that wouldn't have done anything anyway. Let's get these guys out of here. Oh, let's see, the background's about to fall. Timber! Pretty sure it didn't take. Yeah, flower saver's still there, so it is like a flower saver partner badge, is what I need, I guess. Not gonna be too terribly useful because most of the enemies here aren't ground enemies. There's not really anything I can get for four that I would want, so maybe we'll keep that on and see what else we have here. We'll put on some small stuff and then, uh, well, actually, what we could do is just take off, because I was just going to say we could make, like, a bunch of little small ones here, but what we could do... There we go. Now we're talking. take off some of the small ones in exchange for trading for a power plus and see how that goes. And if ultimately I end up needing the, uh, the variety, we'll switch back to the variety. When I remember how many tries that took me to do on my first playthrough of this game, because I kept falling. Look at that, that time I did it flawlessly. I guess technically I fell once, but like you're required to, so we'll count that as a goose egg. No falling, no failing. And those are the three that we lost at some point. Thanks, Bobbery. We'll never forget you. That was weird that the toad, like, slowed down there. Oh, Bobbery, please forgive our cowardice. Look, I'll go and get him. You two just, like, leave. And hey, you, out there in front of the TV. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It may be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario or else. Even if I did, he wouldn't listen.
I'm sure there's some like actual dialogue if you go back. Oh, then coupon. If you go back before saving Bobbery. Of them basically admitting that they totally just ditched him. What am I doing on stats? A coconut from a trunk glass, to be honest, it ain't tasty. Yeah, you and everybody else except for me think that. I don't know why so many people I know just despise coconut. It's like one of my favorite flavors. I love coconut. I also like ice power, it makes Mario damage proof and jumping on fire enemies. Please and thank you. How much is ice power? Just one. Oh, nice. Okay. I would like to keep ice smash, actually. But I'm not getting rid of chill out, so super appeal it is. Didn't see that. This is how Legend of the Sea meets is in, huh? Yep, stuck in a tree fighting fireballs. Smash is out of curiosity. This will definitely kill him. Oh, yeah, easily. But just curious if exactly how strong it would be. Yeah, yeah, we'll help him in a minute. You got a star piece, you got a spike pouch. I'll toss that, I don't really care about it. The pain of it all. Oh, the pain. Mario, old boy. I've had my last crumpet. I must thank you for taking me out to see one last time. You're, you're fine, kid. One thing I need before I go to my rest. Chocola Cola. I was saving that one bottle to celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the floats and drifting towards the island, so it must be somewhere. The boy needs his Coke. That's fair. Maybe it's the old timey Coke that actually has cocaine in it. Thanks, just gonna casually ignore that enemy. No thanks, just gonna casually ignore that enemy. No, your stream's not broken, I said that twice in the exact same pitch and tone. Yep, I'm gonna use that coupon. Also, I don't remember her being on the boat, so not sure if we just like found her out here or what, but it's it's probably fine.
Also, I love the flag of being like a thing of underwear and a, a tank top. Bobbery sacrificed himself to save us from the ghosts. Yeah, he gonna die. Cola Cola? Well, why would I have that? It's a last request. But for this, no cause I yield. But you'll need to find something to eat to replace this. On this, I do not budge. Yep, here. A coconut. Well, that is island fare, but it's somewhat cliched. Ah, well, perhaps I'd say my hopes too high in foraging for a non gorman such as you. Yeah, probably. Lobbyist treasured beverage. Actually, it's Bobberies. Is that a... Yeah, no, that's an important thing. Okay. So we can go and pick up another coconut for uh, recipe crafting as we head back there. We probably should fight those enemies. Might as well. Especially that one in particular since it was just the one guy. I know I should be making more of an effort. Oh, hey, a sleepy sheep. I know I should be making more effort to actually, like, get the, uh, the coins and star points I need to get level ups. I should be trying harder for those. That was actually quite fortunate, because I believe that's just enough to be able to have boots eliminate him. Nice. Yeah, those enemies should not be dropping three star points. They should be dropping like two, maybe one. Nope, I got him this time. No biting for you, mister. Much rather deal with the fuzzy than dealing with that throttle plan. In fact, you only have to do 11 battles, essentially, to get a level up from these guys is kind of crazy. I'm not going to use the sleepy sheep otherwise, so let's give it a try. Send in the sheep! Very nice. taking that boo sheet if you would like to give it to me, Mr. Ghost. Thank you. See, they really are on your side. Like, it's usually specific enemies that throw, like, the, the trash slash bad items and certain uh, audience members throw the good ones. And from what I can tell, at least from memory, I don't think the boos ever throw anything bad at you. It's all, almost always something good. The little mischief makers. I see you up there. There we go. Looked like he was stuck there.
Oh. I missed out on a tasty tonic, but you know what? That's fine. It just cures like poison or dizziness, so. Dizziness doesn't come up that often, and poison, while not fun, will go away after the battle ends. It's not super debilitating in this game. Poison's always been a weird status effect. It feels like it does nothing, or it does way too much. Very rarely does it go anywhere in the middle, because it's usually either, like, a set amount of small damage, or it's, like, a third of your max health, and so in three turns you will be dead if you have not healed or healed it. I have nothing left in this world now, thank you for granting my last wish. See you on the other side, Bobbery. We'll let him, uh, we'll let him die in peace. for a second coconut? Probably not, but let's find out. I do not. Rake is the Bushi, and I'm definitely keeping that, so... Bobbery, are you done dying yet? He's just sleeping. And here I was getting all choke up. Give him a wake up whack. We have adventures in the afterlife as well. Capital. Bob rejoined your party. X to make Mario throw a bobber heel, then walk a few steps and explode. Like this. Bobbery's explosions to blast cracks up and destroy walls and activate switches. You can even throw them onto ledges above you. In battle, he can detonate on ground bound enemies, or if you like, he can use bomb squad with time bombs that explode one turn later. You sure enough can. Can't do anything with that uh, for right now. We need the little gem that Flavio has before we can continue. That does seem to be a thing that they just kind of liked doing in this specific area, like creepy steeple going back and forth, recruiting Bobbery to join the voyage, going back and forth, and then right here having to go back and forth. Oops. Sure. Oh wait, I can't hold it. Oh no, not the dried shroom. Alright, let's do it. Press A and release when it lights up. probably won't see me use the bomb squad one too terribly often. I just don't feel like it's worth it most of the time. Especially now when his normal attack can just do five damage straight up that's before being upgraded so like it's, it's just not worth it for me personally
he is a very good party member to have for uh, for VP only runs though because he'll end up with 40 HP by the time you upgrade him twice. But now everybody is here. Not that crystal star. There's a rather odd rock to the far east when that had a jungle with a skull carved in it. Hey, Bobber, you want to know it really smells suspicious? Flavia's armpit. Yeah, just the one, right? Maybe on something with that rock, I dare say that's where the treasure is. If you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Exactly. Thinks I should go to investigate the Skull Rock. Everyone immediately. Oh, heck yes. Take him, please. Have fun out there, jerk. Off with you. There you have it. Fair and square. No, not fair. Flavio hates you all. <laughs> Pro tip, if you're going to lead, make sure at the very least the majority of the people you're leading like you in any capacity. Right, I was going to put that coconut up. I will do that. I think I'll store that courage shell as well. Yeah, I think that'll do for now. Yep, that'll do. Man, this is really making me want to figure out how to load up some of my old Clue Finders games since one of them set in the jungle. Ah, I was gonna try to. Never mind. Uh. We're about to get a level, even though we won't get off of this fight, but this is a kind of a nasty set of enemies here. jump on him. Actually, I don't remember where you get spike shield in this game. I remember where it is in the first game. It's inside of the temple in Chapter 2. Like, very early on in, so it's easy to catch. Ouch! stupid. I'm not doing a stylish command there. Oh, the stylish command doesn't affect that. Well, my mistake. Mario, wake up, you lazy slacker. One more fight, which will be on the screen. If 
only Flavio pulled a uh, pokey from Earthbound and just, like, tried to use you as a meat shield and other stuff like that in these fights. I kind of don't want to use the FP plus until I feel like I absolutely would have to, so we're going to stick some stuff that's just worth one, I think, for the time being. This definitely feels a bit like Yoshi abuse, but it's it's fine. Here we are. Yep, he sure does. Skull gem. Oh, don't worry, I won't need it for long. There we go. What? Did it not register the re Oh, it's probably because I had to. Oh, okay. Um, well, if that's the case. Let's send them for a time out, shall we? There we go. They can have fun with that. extra point of damage since it mentioned that they were weak to explosions, but oh well. Thankfully, if I remember, also using the uh, explosion gets rid of the fog, which is nice. Probably because they recognize it would be a little stupid for fog making it possible to make an explosion miss. Is it four and three, or did I actually just need to see? Yeah, okay. I have the numbers right, but I have to ground pound and not hit him with the hammer. Once I saw that the blue one did like the little shiny thing when the red one had, I figured that was probably the mistake. In you go, Bobbery. Have fun. What were you thinking? That gem was part of the House of Flavio. Fine, take it back. I don't care. I 
I think he has to give it up at a later point anyway, if I remember right. Yep, y'all have fun. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers enter the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Alright, let's hop to it. Ooh! I knew I shouldn't have eaten that third muffin. Let's say that surely there's no way he's got 10 health. But let's find out. The Lava Bubble, max HP is 6, attack 4, defense is 0. Its attack and HP may differ, but otherwise it's the same. It's instead of fire, don't touch it. Yeah, I think these are actually weaker overall. Trades an HP for extra damage, but I would think the HP is probably better in this case for them. Barbara can one shot him too, even without being upgraded at all. Very nice. Yeah, those are good at getting experience. That's 16 star points for a pretty easy fight, all things considered. Oh, sorry, Barbara. Oh, right, you're supposed to use Vivian. For some reason in my head, I was like, oh, is this one we have to, like, roll up into the, the toilet paper tube? No, that's that's not quite yet. It's probably for the best that they have you do that, because... There they are. It's probably for the best they have you do that, because like you don't really use her abilities too terribly much in the chapter you get her in terms of outside of battle. They do a little, just not a lot. That's a bull bill that attacks from being shot from the bill blaster. And actually feeds two attacks four, defense is one. Take care of it quickly or it'll totally well in mosh pit style. Use those action commands and take it out. Take it out for a nice dinner. Themselves. That's a bill blaster. It's a cannon that shoots bullet bills. Max HP is five. Defense is two. Does not attack directly, but it shoots bullet bills at you. Take out the blaster first. Trust me. Yep, because it will keep firing. Otherwise, I'll just use the thunder rage and get rid of it, though. syrup. Not an even trade, but, you know, we got something when we weren't expecting it, so I will, I will accept that.
Mario. My dude. I just need you to jump. I just need you to jump correctly. Mario, I just want you to know, like, if you die here, this is 100% on you. Mario. I don't ask a lot of you, my dude. I really don't. Oh, Mario. What will we do without you? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get across this. Can I get across here? Okay, thank goodness. What a pain in my ass. Have fun! <laughs> Mario's almost dead, but it's fine. Now we got our health back. I'll be sure to actually tattle those next time I run into one. I mean, what? Maybe these guys will drop some additional hearts? That would be very nice. Yeah, they dropped one. I'll take it. Oh, right, this one has like a weird thing about it. Well, first. I'm actually gonna not jump on that because I don't think we've had a piece yet. Sure enough, we have not. That's a pair of buzzy, a buzzy beetle with wings. Max T has five attacks, three defenses, four. I guess those stats are just like a buzzy. Fire explosions have no effect, so don't bother. If you flip it over, its defense goes to zero. Well enough does. I don't know if I could sleep or one out of curiosity. I have no need for that. Thank you, Mr. Ghost. I'm be invisible. See, the ghosts are our friends. Maybe not the fiery ones, but like the, the normal booze, they're our friends. Okay, now I gotta remember, like, how... This had a weird thing to it where you had to get a block to appear. Yeah, like that. And then you can hit it with a hammer. I guess it's only bizarre because, like, that has never come up before, and I don't think it comes up anywhere after, either, of, like, a puzzle specifically like that. Of like, yeah, making a, uh, a block appear just so where you can jump and hit the other thing, yeah, that does, but not to where you have to make a block appear to stand on the hammer something next to the block you made appear. Now, this is gonna be an hard attack, I can already tell you, but first... It's a bulky bomb bomb, it's like other bombs, but it's huge! Max HP is six, atta six attack is two, defense is one. It's weird, it never attacks, but once it's fused, it's lit, it'll blow up on its own eventually. 
I don't mind taking itself out of the battle, but that explosion hurts us too. When it powers up, that attack powers eight, so watch out. Fire and explosions, light fuse. So I guess setting off early is one strategy. You can run too, but if you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. Well, if you insist. Love this room. This would be like the perfect room to sleep in right here. fluid motion, but I guess not. I was gonna say, I don't think that's required, but even though the shine sprites are not required, they are very heavily recommended. What are we doing on those? Eight. Jeez. So if we find one more of those, we'll get Bobbery upgraded, and then we have two people we can take to Ultra Rank. Which will probably be just Goombella and Bobbery, if I'm being honest. Since they're the ones that are used the most frequently. Hello, I would rather not fight you. doing this again, my man. Like, come on now. I'm not giving Mario the excuse to say his party members got in the way. Oh, these don't actually sing. Alright, well. At least not completely. Alright, let's see if we can get through these fights without getting ourselves killed here. He had a spite pouch, which he didn't really want, but here, you, you got a thing. Congrats. can't risk it. I know I could take out one of those, but I have a feeling it would do exactly three and the life shroom is more important. Yeah, I would have. I was correct. Had I not guarded it, or not gotten lucky, yeah, that would have killed me. So it was the right choice. Besides, that's what the items are for. Falling into the 
Pokemon logic of like, oh, well, oh, well, there's a level up. Thank you for the extra star points. You always have to thank the game, because the minute you don't, you're never going to get it again. But yeah, falling into that Pokemon routine of like, oh, this is a really good item, better make sure to save it for an important moment, and then you just never do. You never use it. Have a look here. I could get rid of three things to like stack on a, uh, a power plus or defend plus if I got rid of two things. The defend plus might not be a bad idea. Yeah. You see what I mean though about Quake Hammer just not being particularly good here because like the, the bombs, you'd wake them up all at once and they'd all explode. Or they're like fireball enemies, and so as a result, Quake Hammer's not gonna do anything to them. So. We'll stick with Defend Plus for now. And I'll probably change it back later, but we'll have extra points at that point, so. I, in theory, could blow those up with a first strike with Bobbery, but I just don't feel like there would be enough time before they would fire more bullets, so that's why I'm not doing that. Everybody wondering. How's everybody doing tonight, by the way? Hopefully enjoying the weekend. Probably gave me that while I was stuck in the wall. I still have work this weekend, tragically, Friday and Saturday, but this upcoming weekend I'll have multiple days off, which is why I've only got one off this week that I already had on Wednesday. Initially I was going to stream that week, and I, ultimately I'm actually very glad that I didn't. Because that was a long, long day. This is one of those times I actually wish I had the multi-balance, but I don't, so... On the off chance this actually does what I want it to. targeted the same person all three times. Oh well. But yeah, initially we were gonna do uh, a Final Fantasy X live stream that day, but I was like, I have a feeling it's just not gonna happen. And it didn't for once, because once, uh, or it did not, because uh, Icarus was tired and then I also ended up being, like, insanely tired. Like, even after we kind of decided we weren't going to do that, I went to bed at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, which is 1 a.m. for me. Because remember, overnight schedule. So, basically flip your a.m. and p.m. Planning to get up at 7 a.m., and I didn't get up until 4 a.m. the next day. So that should tell you something.
You did it, Mario. We're very proud. We're just getting stuck in a loop here, so... Now that that stupid-ass fog is gone... Get rid of your friends. Take that coin. And get rid of you! Liquidation sale, everybody must go. I don't think the game approved of that based on the fact that it just uh, did not give me any healing afterwards. Oh well. Hello. York! Like New York? Oh sweet, sweet salvation! I thought no one would ever come, I'd given up! What's that? Spare the prologue and just curse you already. Now, how did you know I was gonna do that? No seriously, hang on a sec. Can't you listen to my spiel for just a little bit? I've been locked in here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practicing the speech. But practice the speech. I think they mean practicing... Oh well, tenses are difficult. Whenever you do a lot of dialogue, I should know. Marty, the fourth cursing chest you've met. Are you serious? So you're saying you know exactly how this is all going to turn out. Man, talk about a raw deal. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? He just nods like, oh yeah, I know. All I wanted was to see the face of some unlucky soul when I popped out. Is that so much to ask? No. Anyway, what are you waiting for? Just open it already. You know what the key already looks like, Mr. Seen it all already. Some ghost here has it. Okay. But first, the peon down the up, drops the damage Mario deals, and receives by one. They definitely made that description a lot better than it was in the first game. It was hard to understand for a lot of people, because there's ones that up your attack and defense by... Or that, uh... That lower your defense by one, but up your attack and vice versa. It's a lot easier to explain in this particular instance. Uh... We'll go for a spin... Just for the heck of it. Yeah, I, I'm definitely doing better this run through of the game on timing those bingos. I've only failed a few non-intentionally, but not many. There was one I failed earlier in the stream that was a flower one, but I already had full flowers, so it's just like there's no reason to. The audience was full as well, so. And a black key, a strange black key, what could be for? Yeah, yeah, what do you do? You got the key, party time. Know me out already. Fine. Alright, here we go, since you're just itching to get this over with. <clears throat> Weehee, fools! And Mario still has a shocked, dopey expression, just to make the guy feel better. Your dope fell right into my absolutely brilliant trap, and now you will suffer. Oh yeah, I'm so evil, bathe in the foul awful. Wait, what was next? Oh yeah, you fools will be cursed forever for your appalling stupidity. You will rue the day you open this chest of doom. Now, you wretched guy, be cursed. You're, now you're cursed, but good, suffer. Wait, that's maybe too much. Are you alright? That didn't really hurt, did it? Good, squirm and suffer like socially awkward worms. From now on, if you press certain, or in certain places, if you press Y, you'll turn into a paper boat. Isn't that just gruesome? Just try it out so I can see the depth of your humiliation. Feel the terror of your fate. When you stand on one of these boat panels, the panel will, the panel will feel your curse and glow. Plop. 
Oh yes, such suffering. Do you feel the horror now? You're a piddly little boat. Wee hee hee. You float on the water. People will laugh at you. You will be spit upon. But it only works in certain places, so don't worry. It's not too bad. It's a mild inconvenience at best, Curse. And you want to return to normal, approach the panel and press Y. Now try it, worm. The pain is like a tasty banquet to me. Now do you understand your doom? Yep, I got it. Then off with you, you jaded, cursed boat guy. Oh, and hey, listen. Thanks for letting me do my thing. I feel better. Good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you feel better. That cursed chap seems a bit... <laughs> seems rather a bit alright, eh? Yeah, he's alright. He's, he's pretty cool. He's the Clyde of the group. He's the individual. He's not inky, pinky, or blinky. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else in here, but I'm gonna double check. Yeah. They don't have any star pieces in the water like they did in the first game in terms of like actually underwater. Like you had to dive down with sushi in the first game, but you can't do that here, so. Mario, you struggled the last time we went across those, and that time you just did it flawlessly. And then promptly jumped into spikes. Oh, actually, is that what we have to do? Is there a... Oh, right. Dude, I didn't hit that the second time. The first one, yeah, that was on me. That one, no, I did not run into that. Yeah, it is back here. Somewhere back here. Or maybe not? I guess you come at it from the top. I could have sworn you did this first, but maybe not. Alright then. Still need that. I know we've seen other boat panels, but I just can't remember specifically where they are. Dude! just due to my own negligence. Though it could be like the first game where it's actually not possible for you to uh, get killed by a hazard like that. There's the handle. I don't think I can make this, but yep, definitely can't. Well, am I dead? Yep, I am dead. Cool. Glad I saved. I probably lost like 20 HP total just from trying to make those easy jumps. Okay, this 
Let's take a different pathway here. Yep, should I come here first? Alright, first things first. There's almost assuredly something behind that waterfall. Because why else would they let you go over here if there wasn't? And also just the general rule of thumb of there's always something behind the waterfall. Always. That's just how it works. Also, Spoo, thank you for the 200 channel points, or 2,000. Apparently, I can't read. That's why that sign won't stop me, because I can't read. We are nearly there on that blind game challenge, too. Only 2,000 more to go. There's how we get to the handle. Mario. My dude. I don't know how to tell you this. But you're gonna die again if you're not careful. Two hundred is chump. Yeah, that's that's fair. There's a, definitely a couple of things I want to add to my streaming stuff slash re-add. And one of them is at figuring out what to do channel point-wise to have a little bit more stuff. But I know a lot of people struggle with finding something worthwhile to put on there. I'm just glad I finally got my uh, raid message or uh, countermeasure raid remade it's a little bit different from the original initially i was just gonna find the video but then it turns out that i don't remember if the video got corrupted or if i lost it on a on my laptop that the motherboard's fried on but either way i i rebuilt it and tweaked it slightly so some of the, the little scenes in there are different now Hydrate's popular one. That's true, Hydrate's pretty popular. Oddly enough, I actually think probably the air quote best ones are a lot of the best ones are the default ones, like highlighting the message, for example. Like, that one's good if you're in a chat with, like, hundreds of people to, like, really make sure that the message pops out. Let's try to not lose, like, 6,800 health here. There we go. Away with that barrel. And that bottle, I guess. I didn't see that. Man, that ghost must be really constipated. Just like the one in the first game. Which is ironic, because Toot and Coop is probably, other than, like, the faux warnings, is probably the most forgettable boss in that game. tell that the last time I played this area was the last time that I streamed this game. It doesn't help that I've only been playing like basically two games in my spare time, neither of which control at all like this game does. Yeah, 
even though I think probably both games at this point are overall more popular than this, even though all three deserve the, the popularity that they have, or have had at some point. Breath of the Wild and Stardew, for anybody wondering. I'm trying to get 100% on Breath of the Wild before Tears of the Kingdom, and I'm nearly done. I have to do the Trial of the Sword, and I've done the beginning trials. I just have the middle and the expert ones left. Uh, the last 25 Korok seeds. And I think, like, one or two pieces of horse armor that I need to look up where they are, but other than that, I am completely done the game. Hey, something's coming! They're floating on the water! Oh yeah, I totally forgot about all these other guys. Is that a boat? Yep, it's a paper boat. I'm coming to save you. What is that? Well, that was pointless. Oh, are you kidding me? It's made out of paper. Huge bummer. I mean, yeah, to be fair, that would be a bit disappointing to be like, Oh, we're finally saved, and then it's just literally a paper boat. I always forget this is also the point in the game where they actually start, like having areas where multiple times you flip between 2D and 3D. I keep thinking it's always inside the Exxon base on the moon that's the first spot to do that, but no, they do it here too. I don't remember them doing it on the train area too terribly much though. Was there a... Uh... Oh no, that was just a barrel. That looked like a shine sprite for a split second there. There you go, you're free! Get out of here, you crazy kids. Even if you're still stuck in here, at least you're not all cramped together on a tiny-ass boat. Or what's left of it. You're free! As our Frankie and Francesca, I think, is their names? We'll go with that. Ship got surrounded by ghosts in the ocean. We all ended up here. That sounds familiar. It is Francesca. Nice. Nope. Completely unrelated. But it is nice to see you two again. Oh, hey. How's it going, Lord Crump? See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost on the way, and, uh, well, anyway, I followed this path, and I finally caught up, and then... Normally, I don't use these, but in this instance, I think I'll make an exception. I think I'm going to break from tradition for this one fight. Yeah, I'm going to drop Flower Saver in exchange for FP+. Plus, just because I don't have Flower Saver Partner right now. I want to be able to use Fiery Jinx 
because I know he's got all those weapons that he summons. And you really want something that multi-targets for those. You ignored my warning, come inside the door and be lost in darkness. I guess the difference is with Cortez is he can actually like back up his threats unlike Toon Koopa can. What's up? So how you doing, Mr. Skullhead? I'm a pirate. Blast it. Pirates do not moan. I'm a cold-blooded villain who robs innocence of life and loot, not a crying ghost. I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher, amigo. Excuse you? That's disgusting. to tattle, but here we are. Okay. Let's try that again. That's Cortez. He's the dreaded pirate spirit who haunts this island. Max HP is 20, attacks 4, defense is 1. His HP must seem low, but he... Uh, but he's a spirit, so he'll, uh, even when his HP hits zero, he'll come back. Plus, he has tons of different attacks. He is as tough and as scary as he looks. I say keep damaging him. Sooner or later, he'll go down for good. Give this tormented spirit some eternal rest. Apparently that counts for the bone pile, too. Weird. I figured those were two separate things. What are you doing, Mr. Shy Guy? I don't trust you. The Wigglies! Ugh, that looks creepy. Ooh, I'll take that Thunder Rage. Please and thank you. Speaking of needing things that multi-target. shame if somebody killed you before you got to use that. All the buttons in order as they appear on screen. And that was why I wanted to have FP Plus for this fight. Can't do much more of this. This calls for something special. Like... Killing the audience! You think he would have just like done that to us, but nope, I guess not.
Sorry, I was thinking of something else. Maybe I'll bear that in mind for something in the future. Something unrelated to the game. Oh well, we beat him. No, my treasure! I just want that little star, sir. You can keep the rest of it. I'm done for, except not actually, because you, you friggin' ghost. Yeah, exactly. So, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. What? You're not interested in my treasure? Yeah. Then why are you here? You need that little... Yeah, that. You want this? Yeah. This little rock over here. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What I need one or two extra gems for. I didn't really like that one anyway. Cool, thanks. See, he's just cool like that. You got a crystal star! Mario learned uh, Mario Star Power is now six and you learn the move Sweet Feast. End of Chi after, except again, like with the last one, not really. You do keep the star this time though. Mario is soundly defeated, even though he didn't really actually. The fearful spirit can claim the crystal star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need. Uh, fear Cortez and his fell ship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape the isolated island, and it. could there be another problem still hiding behind our hero's nose? His giant nose. Well, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, what with you, amigo? Cool. Later. When I heard something my ears could not believe, we had discovered the treasure. Yeah, you can go get the rest of it if you want. I'm not gonna bother with that. for that fight. I'm gonna try to use it as little as possible. Which technically I didn't need it for that. Like, it, I could have used items or multi-targeting in terms of like the uh, Earth Tremor or something like that. Just didn't want to do that. B. Cortez, you're really something! That shaking caused the wall to crack a bit. Well then, let's get out of here. Could you imagine if they had bothered to do, like, one toad at a time every single time here would be here forever. Come on away with you all. All these orange toads. You saved our lives. We are eternally grateful, but I need to leave now. I think the whack is here, right? Yeah, we'll leave him alone. We've brought friends! You beat him, but you left all the treasure there? Well, we all need it. Brother. The ghost attacks the boat sank. I've just now found you.
Oh, hey, it's that Mario Party 1 minigame. And I guess technically Mario Party 2, but originated in the first game. Other than the stupid little symbol on the flags, it looks kind of cool. Good job getting the Crystal Star. Seriously, good job getting it for me. Ain't that all four eyes? What's he doing? Hey, four eyes, it's dangerous up there. You may have known me as four eyes, but I'm actually... Oh my god! But he's still four eyes. Four eyes was a pirate all this time? Madness! Absolute madness, yes. I mean, Cortez said he was getting bored. We, like, you're giving him an opportunity to kick someone's ass, like, on a silver plate. He'll probably take it. Besides, if Lord Dump has no chance against Cortez, he's really got no chance against us either. Hi, we're back. Oh, what? It's you again? Did you forget something? Yeah, I left my contacts in here. Friend, your ancestor stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock. <laughs> Should turn you into a pinata and throw a party on the beach. What? No, I'm not gonna help you. I'll hang out on the island with Cortez. Getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Yeah, see exactly. Now I am the captain. Except not really. Surprise! What are all the x knots doing it? How, just hanging out on the... Like, it makes sense for the little fireballs, but like, are they just holding onto the sides of the... What are they doing? It's really bizarre. Oh well. Time to duel. Good thing I brought my blue eyes white dragons with me. That's Lord Crump, not this guy again. Uh, 
Attacks the Fierce 30, attacks 3, defense is 0. He attacks normally, so don't worry much about him, but the x knots are all around him, are forced to be reckoned with. Attack at the leader, they won't have time. The focus to attack, get Crump. We haven't done power lift yet, let's do this. Attack up by four. <laughs> I thought I was almost dead. That's probably because you were almost dead. Is that the best you can do? You mean to tell me you got your ass kicked again? Look, I thought we had him, but it turns out I suck. I should have stuck to the robot. He only had 5 FP, I thought I could take him. I have one star in my hands and Mario has 5, yeah. <laughs> and before the point where they obviously realize like, hey, we could just let him collect all of them and open the door anyway. must request that you do something dangerous, beep boop. I'd like you to sneak into Sir Curtis's room and look for a data disk. I'm unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Curtis has information that I am unable to view, but I must know it. No one other than Sir Curtis can enter his room. When Sir Curtis is elsewhere, there are guards outside that room. I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing, but I have no one to ask but you. But we're going to have to end it off here because I have to go and head to work in a couple minutes. Since it takes me about 20 minutes to get there and it's about 35 minutes until the hour. Oh. So, let's go raid... Mr. Son, what is he playing? He's playing some Oot. Uh, next week's schedule, more of this, obviously, more of Brock the Investigator doing uh, the second run-through on that with the guide. Uh, I won't spoil why we're using a guide for the second run, but uh, 
we'll just leave it to the imagination. Uh, I think everything's updated on Archive, obviously, except for this. I will work on updating this tonight and whatever else needs to be. Links are all, of course, in the, uh, the page below. And I will see you guys next week for more of this, as well as more Brock the Investigator. And possibly some Final Fantasy X. We'll kind of see how next week is, is going. But for now, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later. Why, you do. I've been talking about that forever.